do a top one. We're doing all of them though, right? Yeah, do a top one. Hi there YouTube, I'm Craig here again with Bill and Antonio and we are the Social Vultures. Antonio, take it from the top. Well gentlemen, it's time for a viewer topic episode. Excellent. Ding ding ding. And Bill, who's our viewer topic coming from tonight? Cliff from Georgetown. Nice. I love Georgetown just because that's where all the events in the Exorcist movies take place. Oh really? Yeah, yeah nice. I love that. Uh, and it's where uh, William Peter Blatty, the author, went to school. Oh, nice. yeah. Um, I love your attempts to recast movies, so here's another one for you. If they were to remake One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, who would star and who would direct? Who would star in that and who would direct? Who would direct? Chris Pratt. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's the role he would have suited. Um, the one role that we would One, yeah, one. That's a tough goal. That is tough. Jackie Earl Haley. Yep. Uh, I don't know. Like for that, you got to think of an actor who's really, um, like, who's currently around that's kind of unhinged and wild. Mm. How about Robert Downey Jr.? Did you see him playing that part? He can become in the, a in, in the role. Yeah, I can yeah. see. I can see him in that role. Um, I, I'm really stumped by who would direct. Although. Don't take this the wrong way, you're probably going to look at me like I'm, I'm a freak, but we talked about Rob Zombie and surreal sort of movies that, that, he, that he could Rob do. Rob Zombie doing this movie? And I could just imagine him <laughs> doing crazy visuals of, you know, like, it's, it's, come on, it's, it's an insane asylum, right? Yeah. Yeah, just because of that aesthetic, and I think Rob's got it in him to do a drama. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Are we talking present day Cuckoo's Nest or 70s Cuckoo? Are we keeping the 70s? That, that's, a, that's even a, uh, a great question. I think you could do it either too. way. Yeah. You could do it modern, you could also and do it back then. And I think you also got to you know, cast the chief. The big, uh, oh, okay. you know? Yeah. The Rock. Yeah. The Rock. He's a big boy. Yeah. He can pull it off. He's a yeah. good actor. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Did he have any lines? Oh, he spoke once and we did it. He's a chief. Did he speak at all in the movie? Yeah, he did later. In he did? Okay. Yeah, I think. I don't know. I have to go back. And... Watch it. Oh, good reason to go watch the movie. Yeah. No, but that's a tough, and that, that's uh, another movie just will pass on to the next guy in line. Although, to be honest, and I, I think it's kind of a shame, it, it seems to me that it's a movie that Hollywood right now would not touch. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, just the way that the trend is going right mm. now, it, like even with dramas, even with high dramas, it's not something that I could ever see being produced anytime soon. Mm. Hopefully that trend may change, yeah. but uh, yeah, it's and that's what makes it a great question. I, mean, I think it takes one... It's, it, that's a movie, as you know, I'm never opposed to remakes, but it's a movie that I think is just such a product of its time Yeah, that it would be hard to do now. And even playing and the nurse. Yeah, but even, I, yeah. Ju I just think for the casting, back then you had actors who were these, like, rebels, mm. and who were outcasts, and yet they were starring in big movies. And you don't really have yeah, that Yeah, you had Danny DeVito, Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Was Christopher Lloyd in that movie? No, I don't think Christopher Lloyd, Lloyd yeah. uh, Brad Dourif. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, it was a great cast, but... Um, Oh, yeah, it's like a... But I just can't think of a lead actor now who's got that kind of wild abandonment. Yeah, it's it's tough. It's... Because, because this is a role that I don't think is just about acting. No. It's it's about who the guy is. And it's know? prime Jack Nicholson could play anything. Of That's course he can. Yeah, you know, of course he can. Yeah. But I, the... I think just this role is... It's a role that you've got to have a certain kind of actor that can really off crazy and uh, I don't know I know nobody's coming to mind that has that I, I get, they've also got to have crazy charisma yeah I mean I, I, I could honestly see I, I'm thinking of like Brad Pitt uh, Brad Pitt's um, uh, in, in the 12 monkeys his oh, yeah, unhinged yeah. character and actually you know was sort of uh, even when you look at stuff that he's done like California and, yeah uh, he can play unhinged yeah how about a young John? How about John Travolta? No, but we're talking about if it was made now. Yeah. No, I know. Okay. Travolta now. No. no. Yeah, you're a younger guy. That might happen. That might happen. Can you see what I think you're going to say? You're going to hit your knee. Ryan Gosling. Yes. Yeah, and Drive, he was on him. Yeah. He's an outcast. He yeah. can play crazy, but he's charismatic. Yes. 
Yeah. Did, did Why you, not? Did you happen to watch the place beyond the pines? Yeah. I love then it. that's kind of what I'm love thinking about. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, when you factor in drive and you factor in only God forgives, and but then you also put, you know, the Notebook. Like he can yeah. play an unhinged guy that you like. In Gangster Squad 3, you could say. Yeah, he was like, great yeah, in that too. Uh, yeah, I think he could do it. Yeah. I'll, I'll go with Ryan Gosling. Yeah, yeah. I like it. And actually, story. the director of Drive, Nicholas Winding Revan, he could probably do it. Yep. Because he's got a good eye for that, like, yeah. surreal atmosphere. You know? I'm down with that. I like that. Well, yeah, Cliff, so great question, that took Cliff. a lot of effort on our part. We're all very tired now from thinking. Um, but you, I think we did not let it stump us, though. No, no we got it. No, got it. I, I, I think that's a pretty solid lineup. Yep. So let us know if you but agree. If, if you, yeah, if you don't agree, so that's what you think. Yeah, yeah. You know, so because that's a tough role. So I'm curious yep. who you think can fill those shoes. Mm -hmm. So for Ryan Gosling, John Travolta, and Jack Nicholson, we are the Social Vultures. And keep those viewer topic episode questions coming as well. Yeah, absolutely. Great question, guys, because yeah. I think they're just getting harder. They are. Yeah, they so are. It's vultures and viewer topics. Yeah. These questions are getting harder, making this work. Yeah. It's, we're it's, we're it's, just going to abandon our regular topics and just do yours. Yeah. 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 Better. Here we get yeah, yeah the, the fans have consistently given us better topics than yeah. we could ever think the of. The inmates are taking... You're not getting a check out of it. The, we're getting paid? <laughs> well, we're not getting paid. Sure. The inmates have taken over the asylum vault. They have. I think. We'll see you next time. Oh, did you see what he did there? Yeah, I know. Yeah.